Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to uh, Ultimate Selects playing Psychonauts. This is episode three, brought to you by Ultimate Channel member Anna Sensei. Thank you, Anna. This is the late night shift. It's like radio, but video, and it's really late. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, where's that blasted gif? Um, uh, ah, here it is. Thank you so much, Anna Sensei, for being a VIP and for sponsoring the series. We hope you enjoy your next episode of Psychonauts. Amber's getting something to keep her wide awake, and uh, I'm going to jump into this. Uh... Aha! There we go. Psychonauts! Wait, how do I... How do I go in the head? Don't I have to jump inside my own head to play? That's a new game. Um, whoa, wait. Something's not right. What does it say? Continue! Load save! We'll, we'll continue. Yoink. Now, for those of you on the West Coast, it's not very late. But those of you in the East Coast, it's late! Late, 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 late. Uh, if there is a mod on duty, we're going to be pushing the YouTube short link every uh, 25 minutes. So that is what's going to be happening tonight because we got to give Aerith some love. So your um, streams tomorrow are as follows. You got Ace Attorney if you get 50 more views. I already, you know, made the thumbnail and set up the stream, but it needs 50 more views from the previous episode. Um, Final Fantasy is locked in and Star Wars is almost at 1,000. So, yay! And, uh... I, I don't know what else. Oh, there's Susie. What's her face? There is Susie. What's her face? There's a demo of something. Oh, the demo of the Toriyama game. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Fruit Punch. Fruit Punch has a kick to it. I haven't even put any ginger ale to it. I, I got just some of the Batman. Is that like the V8 kind or the refrigerator? It's the V8 kind of Fruit Punch. It's got a kick to it. It's got a zing. Oh. Yeah. You know what that tastes like? That that tastes like church fruit punch, but without the sherbet in it. And the ginger ale. Like, I, I don't know about you, but I grew up with, like, when they would have parties at church, they'd have a big bowl of fruit punch. It had a zing to it. And they'd put sherbet in it. Okay. I'm bracing. There are other events besides church events in which people make punch. Whoa! I wasn't invited to any of them. You went to a school with like seven people. Yeah. Of course you were invited to any of them. Yeah. If you went to any party whatsoever, you would have had punch at some point. The fact that the only time you had it is church and it's called church punch to you. I'm not trying to be rude, but that just kind of feels like you're Amish, and it feels like it's really sad. No offense. But no offense to anyone else who calls it Church Punch. You're really cool for that. It's just sad for Luke. Everyone else who had it only at church, you guys are cool. Um, Luke is just the loser for only... yeah. I don't... my voice is gone. <laughs> Hmm. Last time, I'm angry at Luke because last time he was tired doing this and I was laughing at the jokes in the game. And, um, and he was just like, huh? And, like, he was just, like, not paying attention. <laughs> Thank you. Um, if you guys don't know too much about this series, this was the game that I picked out that was going to be our next big awesome series. 
that was gonna go viral or whatever, and then after the first episode, nobody watched it, even though this is actually one of the most famous games in existence, Psychonauts, and they actually made it. They finally came out with a second one in 2017. This is our most requested game on the channel. If you actually go back to our comment section, through like all of our videos, people are screaming, please face Psychonauts. So I was like, awesome, we're gonna play it and everyone's gonna Mental watch it, it's gonna be down. I've got just so, the device up here in the main large store. Why don't you come on up and score yourself a cobweb dusty before they're all sold out? So someday in a sensei, people are gonna come 20 years later and find that we actually did do Psychonauts and it's thanks to you that we continued it. So, thank you Anna Sensei for sponsoring so to bring it back. This is a really famous game, but of course this game is from 2005, so, you know, like, I think it's cool, but of course, you know, yeah. And the sequel came out in 2017, and, um, yeah, it's made by the people with the little B in their logo. I forgot what they're called. Darn it, I forgot. The rations. But this game is funny. Short. Who are you calling short? You know what? If I have to explain it's funny, then it probably isn't as funny. Oh, little bunny. What are you listening to? I can't quite make it out. But something. Something coming out of those speakers reminds me of my nightmare. That was my troop. Hey, quit it! What are you listening to? I can't quite make it out. But something... Something coming out of those speakers reminds me of my nightmare. Get up, soldier! Lock it off! I don't know where to go. <laughs> Got to find... <laughs> the eggs. <laughs> Careful with the eggs. Go, Easter Bunny! Be careful on the way home! Am I awake, Maverick? No. Don't drop the eggs under the water. Don't drop the eggs under the water? Why is there this weird old man? Sale now in the main store, we have a special on dream fluffs. You hear me? Dream fluffs. They're good yeah. for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental Everyone health. Has a little heart in the chat. It says hi everyone. Thank you, guys and gals. Anna Sensei is a sponsor of today's stream. Thank I, you, I, Anna, I, I already did. for being an ultimate member, keeping the channel on the air. You're butt taking Anna. I already did the thing. Alright, I have no idea where to go after we got the one ability. Okay, there's several people in the chat who have made some of the psycho nuts. Yeah, this game was pretty creative, says Isaiah. I've enjoyed both this and psycho nuts too. Uh, says we Elton, I hope you're not waiting for me. Oh, jeez, sorry. Carry on, sailor. Whoa. Oh, what's happening here? They're kissing, I think. Or they're pretending to kiss. No, they're, they're totally... okay. Well, that never happened in my camp. Mm, nope. Oops. What's oops? What do you do? Oh. Maybe you're having a problem. Clean up! Aisle! Couch! Alright guys and gals, where am I supposed to go? Who do we prefer, Christoph Gavin or the other Gavin? I like the Rockstar guy. Christoph was a bad guy. A very bad guy. A very bad guy responsible for killing a lot of people. All the fun is figuring out where you need to go, Luke. Imagine that it's 2005. Uh, what would you do if you were in your room? Alone playing this game in 2005. In 2005? Where would you go? Oh, okay. It's 2005. Mm -hmm. It's the year 2005. Psychonauts. 
Walk. No longer mm. hiding under a rock. So you actually picked up the game Psychonauts and played it. Psychonauts. I just called there. it. That's what I would do. Wow, Luke. Wow. There it is. June 2005 walkthrough. Mmm. Okay, call me crazy, but I have hey, I used to write for GameFAQs, so I also provided walkthroughs. Thank you very much. So, us in 2005 actually did do cool stuff too, you know. It's not just like people make video walkthroughs. It's like we actually, we wrote, back in my day, we wrote things down. Back in my day, we typed it out. We typed it out. We didn't have like some program that when you speak it types for you. Sounds totally amazing. But we didn't have that luxury. No, we had to write it by hand, painstakingly. And we got blisters. <laughs> Entering the lodge. <laughs> Julia says, I was one year old in 2005. It's no excuse, Julia. You have to figure out how you would play this game with your little one year old thumbs. <laughs> Why, I ought to. Simmer down there, Phoebe. You promised Mia you wouldn't burn any more kids. <sighs> okay. <laughs> kitty! Oh, kitty! Girl! Ooh, oh, oh, oh! Kitty! Kitty! Kitty, you so fine, girl! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Switch it up, Quentin! Come on! Miss Boo Bye! Boo! -ah. That's not even a song, dude. That's like a weird slow jam. How about this? In the city! She's so pretty! It's a pity! This little ditty! My itty bitty! Kitty, kitty! My perfect fitty! Makes me all giddy! My oven mitty! Ever quitty, so very witty. She got no zitty. I was also contributing to the musical. This <laughs> kitty, kitty. Wow. TV. Hacky sack. Yes, hacky sack. Oh no. They're all brainless. Hi, Raz. Vernon, you're okay. <clears throat> yeah, we're great. Me and my pals Kitty and Frankie are just hanging out telling stories and watching the boob tube. TV. And look at them. They're zombies. It did seem kind of weird when they let me get this close to them. And then they didn't mind when I talked all through the show. Kitty even agreed to go on a date with me, more or less. We're gonna play hacky sack. Keep an eye on them, Vernon. I'm gonna go figure out what's causing this. Roger that, Raz. Did you ladies know one of the bloodiest battles of the Civil War was fought on the shore of this very lake? Yup, it's true. It happened back when this place was still an Indian summer camp and burial ground. A group of Eugen soldiers got separated from their regiment. Night was falling, and they were cold and scared of Dracula. Boo! <laughs> um, I'm kidding. They were just terrified of getting shot. Though I'm sure any of them, with any sense, were afraid of Dracula too. They stumbled across an old building. You could still see it on the far side of the lake. 
So they decided to spend the night there. Little did they know, it was an abandoned Indian insane asylum built on a caveman burial ground. Yup. Little did they also know that a cursed fish lived in the asylum and that he was an escaped lunatic but from a different asylum. So even though he was actually living in an asylum, he was still counted as escaped. And what was his curse, you ask? Where his gills should have been? He had hooks. Yup, and where one of the hooks should have been? He had a lug. Yup, a lug. And instead of being about 14 inches long, he was 10 feet tall. But that wasn't the scariest thing. The scariest thing, the absolute scariest thing, and the thing that still makes the old timer's blood turn to ice and vice versa is the part I said first about how he had hooks for gills. Oh, brr. Uh, anybody need a hug? Anybody? No? Okay then, anybody mind if I tell that story again? Speak up now if you don't want to hear it. No! Here we go. <laughs> Did you ladies know one of the bloodiest battles of the Civil it, War bitty. was fought on the shore of this very lake? Kitty, kitty, ugh. Let me yeah. out! You remember when we were younger, people used to always talk about all this stuff being on Indian burial grounds. Oh. Nobody talks about that anymore. You like to be branded anyone. with a hot spatula, eh? No, you're not old at all, VG Shine. You're amazing. Excuse me. I told you the burgers ain't ready. But no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. And maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs, and you can turn them in for psi cards. What does this guy do? Now with that, oh. you can change the color of some of your psi powers. Like you'll ever take... <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> no, we're not on mute. This is not a chip break right now, but I'm sure we're running a character that won't shut up later. Alright, VG Shine says we need to go to Ford Sanctuary. What's that? VG, what is a Ford Sanctuary? You can stomp you. VG Shine knows he knows he was alive in 2005. Yeah. That's how old he no, I'm just He wasn't he wasn't a baby either. He was he was alive, man. Yeah, we experienced it. We experienced 2005, man. We were engaged in 2004, man. The underground lab area, you need to use the stump fast travel, says VG Shine. Uh, what does that look like on the map, VG, man? Marksman. Isn't there like a map? Amber, stop eating chips now. Oh. Next cutscene thing. Then you eat chips. You can drink, though. Sorry. Hi, Lisa. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Lisa became an ultimate, I think. Yeah, she did. Um. Hmm. What stump? This is not a stump. I mean, that that's a log. Where was it, did you did you see a stump anywhere, Amber? Amber, it's not snack time. Snack time's over. It's not snack time. We're looking for a stump. If we can find said stump, we can go to quote unquote the underground. Um, well, I guess we have a lot of looking at it. Nope, oh, there's a stump. I think that's it. Oh, there's a map. Where would you like me I to take you, Agent really Crawler? Well, then I don't think there really is. Hmm. 
Beware the water. Wait, take me to the cabins? I'm headed for the parking lot. <clears throat> Let's go to Ford Sanctuary. Let's go to Ford's. I mean, my Going sanctuary. to my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Going to my sanctuary. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. Cool. I can't wait to burn. Hey, what are we doing here? Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus. Uh, but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long, he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? Okay. Burn them all! <laughs> We're gonna burn stuff. Focus. Focus on burning stuff. Think heat. The heat is on. So. Oh. Burn them, Rasputin. Great, great. Now, burn the rest. Great. Come on now, just look at something. And then use your new... You're getting warmer. <clears throat> Keep going. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Think heat. Huh? You want me to burn the stagecoach? Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Uh... Yeah, that's what you're supposed to focus. burn. Okay. You can do it. It's big, though. Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. But I don't see anything other than the stagecoach. Think heat. You can do it. Uh. Anna says Trogdory or Trogdor. <gasps> Sorry, kind of got that wrong. Okay. Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Think heat. Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me, only use your power of pyrokinesis only when it's very, very important or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because hairspray is extremely flammable. Oh my gosh. That's something. Luke, are you going to tell the yep. rest of the class? <clears throat> What's something? Oh, I just need to push the YouTube short real quick. Alright, Luke is on a pause break for some reason. He's not explaining what he's doing now. I'm gonna push the YouTube short. <clears throat> I don't know what you mean, push it. What are you saying? You want us to do something, or yep. you're just gonna randomly watch it while we Alright, guys, you? watch the YouTube short. Click on the link. If you haven't already, leave a comment. Tell us what you think about it. And uh, come on back. We're gonna be pushing the short because shorts work like this they aren't tied to your IP address. Every time you click that link that's right there, it counts as a new view. Isn't that nice? It's like old school YouTube until YouTube ruins it. So we're going to take advantage of it while we can. So that means you click the link, it counts as a view. See, see, see.
It's old school, 2007 YouTube. Ha ha ha. Alright, where am I supposed to go now? Go to Fords. Okay, where to next, VG? My sanctuary. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, watch the short old school style. All right, I'm leaving because I don't know where to go. So we're gonna whoop. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Well, I went to... can go to the kids' cabin, can go outside the main lodge, it's but time to Luke, go to the lake. Yes, yeah, If we watch the shorts like it's 2005, um, there were no shorts in 2005, so that's historically inaccurate. It's a video, but it's called a short. Watch, oh. watch the video like it's 2005. Do you want us to pretend that it's 2005, but there were no shorts back then? Today is historical reenactment day. History reenactment. We're all pretending. This is what the ancient people of 2005 used to do. Play psychonauts and have views correct, correctly, um, I don't know, counted on YouTube. Agent? You need to go to the kid's cabin, the main lodge, the parking lot, the gate, lake. Bring me to the geo... whatever. I'm going to try this geo what's-it place. Sounds interesting. 27 minutes. Geo... 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 Chamber. Geodesic Psycho Isolation Chamber. Remember when videos could only be 10 minutes long? Yep. I remember that. Bring me near the Geodesic Psycho Isolation Chamber. Roger that, Ranger Crawler. I remember being so happy when I became a YouTube partner and I was able to post longer videos. It was a big deal for me. It was like, I'm no longer restricted to 10 minutes. And now, most of my videos that I post for topic videos are usually no more than like 10 or 15 minutes it's like the only thing that i post like really long things are like let's plays or something our first two episodes of skylanders the first one luke are six minutes long no way stay on we'll, we'll watch the series again what? two first episodes are six minutes long because we were not partnered at the time when we started the series It's true. Whoa! Oh, we weren't a YouTube partner yet. You're right. Eight minutes, six minutes, we seven minutes. We were asking minutes. people to share and like so we could become a YouTube partner. So we became a YouTube partner during that series. on this channel. Um, Killings Let's Plays became a YouTube partner eleven years ago on April fourth, twenty twelve. Our first episode of Skylanders. You wink. First episode of Skylanders got 275,000 views. It was on April 2nd. So because people watched our content uh, in like uh, not long after we became YouTube partner. I thought The Cave was our first series on this channel. Yeah, I believe it was and it wasn't. We did that not partnered, I don't think. I want to see. Nope, The Cave was partnered. The cave was not first. So it looks like our first series. Oh, that's not us. That's somebody who stole our. That's our. That's our thumbnails. Luke, how many years are you gonna sit here waiting, looking at things on the internet? You sorry. know you're on a stream. I'm sorry. I get distracted late at night. I do this often. It's an ADD thing. Sorry, Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. Hello, hello. Whoops. I am here, and I can do stuff now. Yes. Ouch. 
Yes. What's the talk Ouch. button again? Yes. Ouch. Yes. Ouch. Yes. Ouch. Ah, yes. Thank you, Rasputin, for helping me clean up. Yes. Ow. Yes. Ow. Yes. Ouch. I'm just yes. trying to talk to him. Ouch. Yes. Okay. I'm a certified limitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? Hello. I am here now. Do 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 do. Hmm. It actually says the cave was our January let's play, January twenty seventh, twenty thirteen. So we were already partnered by then, and we were even saying, "Wow, this series is not doing very well." Was getting fifty thousand views an episode. That's funny. So Skylanders, I, I would argue that Skylanders was our first, um, our first series ever on this channel, I think. Yeah, April 4th, 2012, so uh, the cave wasn't until 2013, so. Every Random you, trivia! Every time you pause the game and stare at the computer while your character just stands standing there not going and you're not talking at all. I am having internal screaming. Thinking dead air, dead air. Dead air, dead air, dead air. Alright, so, am I in the right place, BG? This is, this is the agent we needed to go to, right? Creepy guy? Dead air. Mm. I'm talking to myself while I wait for directions. <clears throat> Isaiah says, Rasputin is the voice actor from Billy and Mandy. Yeah, I know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's the guy who plays Billy. He's a famous voice actor. Brain Tumbler. Mila's Dance. Locked Door. Yes! Okay, it's the right place. Well, I guess I'll, I'm taking... We're going to go to the dance party. Maybe this is right. Rasputin, darling, what are you doing back here? Oh, no. But just came to dance. Is that okay? Of course! The party never ends in here. Roll away. I'm going to be in another part of my mind, tending a party I'm having with some old memories. But you have fun here. Got a party. I don't think we're supposed to go to the dance party. Not much to do here except clean up all the cobwebs, collect all the figments, and get any vaults that are left. No, I want to leave. Let me out! Wait, how do I leave? How do I leave? Go to the brain. Go to the brain tumbler experiments. Is VG shine? Oh no! I don't know how to get out of here. Oh no, I went to the wrong door! How do I leave? I've made a terrible mistake. Uh, there must be a way to get back to the world map. Maybe. They don't expect me to play this entire level over again, do they? Uh, smelling salts? I have smelling salts from my inventory? What are those? Fragments? Bolts? Uh, 
go marksmanship. Why does one use smelling sense? Options. This might be a while. Cobwebs. Figments. Smelling salts. I miss these really creative games. Everything is so formulaic and bland nowadays. It's heartbreaking, says Isaiah. Yeah, I like this. This kind of game made me really feel happy to see it. I don't know where the smelling salts are, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. I don't think I have any smelling salts. Oh, I got a smelling salt. Mm. Man, these things smell terrible. Am I sure I want to do this? Yes, I want to go back to the real world that badly. Mm -hmm. You have to smell something horrible to get back. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> yes. Ouch. Okay. I'm a certified limitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's going to happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Where? Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? That looks like a very dangerous machine. Okay. Yeah. So we need to go on a thing mm. that says brain tumbler. Nope. Nope. I yeah, definitely, yeah. This game is extremely creative. I agree. I agree, I say it. Brain tumbler. Found um, it. I'll try. Guys, I will try to answer some questions about other games, but <clears throat> I'm just trying to focus on the oh this game right now, but I don't know if we have time I will. I don't know, I think I like Simon Blackwell better. Brain tumbler. Okay. Is that the character of Invader Zen? Richard Horowitz? I think so, Stellar Duke. Uh, oh. We've never played this game before, so I wouldn't know. I don't even know much about Invader Zen's character, actually. Or the voice actor. Honey, I'm gonna leave you. I mean, from this. I mean, from. I'm. I'll be right back. That sounded weird. That sounded weird. Also, you said, "Honey, I'm going to leave you." Like that. I'm gonna be right back. Ah. That's unpleasant. So I need to brain tumble my way up. Oof! They really expect me to go up this? Uh. Whoa! Okay, I guess I'm doing this right. I don't know. Oh no. Whoa! Whoa, 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 what, what is what is happening right now? Oh, this is kind of dizzying. Oh, pff, oh! Pff. What was I supposed to do to that branch there? Boink. Boing. Boing. Okay. Oh. Ow, that's mean. Don't do that. I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm falling, fall darn. Ow. Rude. Mean. Alright. 
right, so... What? You're fine. You're fine, I'm just... I'm trying to roll up this tree trunk. Or, uh, tree root. Trying to get to the root of the problem. I'm doing my best to branch out with content. I'm branching out with my content, and this game is really starting to grow on me. level feels like quite a stretch, doesn't it? Uh. What? Uh, what? Wait, there was something else I'm supposed to do! Oops. Once I get up there, I'm supposed to do something else. Ah, that's what I'm supposed to do, okay. Phooey! No. Oh. oh, I can just skip that and then just go up the other way. I was doing that the hard way. You know what? It's me. Top floor. Why are you screaming? All right, I remember. There's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course! Right here! And this bad tooth. We'll just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't chew solid foods for six hours! Lily! TV will rot your brain, kids. Oh no, Lily's brain is in trouble. Oh no. Oh no, let's try to save Lily. Okay. The other guy had his brain taken out and thrown in the trash. Thanks. Oops. Oh, that guy already had his brain taken out. Yeah, he, he's a TV zombie. So maybe this camp isn't the best place to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of dangerous. <laughs> Honey, you can. Oh, good. You too. I'm fine. Destroy the brain. Oh, probably just fire them. Yikes. Why is my... What am I 
I supposed to? Don't I have a gun or something? I thought I had a gun. Mm. I don't know what they expect me to do. Yeah. Um. That's awesome, Captain Zach, that you joined YouTube in 2015. Uh. How do I. F Use your jetpack to run. I don't know how to fight him. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to fight him. Does anyone know what we're supposed to do? Good thing VG Shine is in this game. I don't have a gun, I just have psychic mm. powers. Ah! Uh, target lock! Can you use Gotta your fire? Something. Fire doesn't work. Fire takes too long to charge up. Mm. And that bounced right off of him. Boss fight is two different phases. He will fire psychic energy. No fair, I blasted Raz. you, tank. Um, Raz during the fight can uh okay, well which can be blocked by uh, hiding target towards lock. Gotta hide behind two something. to three times. And just by moving the Psychic attacks can be dodged. Receive my psychic blasting. Its jerk. weakness is that it can be rolled onto its side during the fight after depleting its energy, freeing the player to either beat or Rats. shoot that tank is its soft like gelatinous a underbelly. Tank. After enough beating, it explodes, and the player must then fight the brain. Oh, sorry. It must have a weak spot somewhere. How do I get? I have, have to, to somehow it knock on its... its underbelly. How do I do that? It, it, it. Man, there I am go. so smart. Don't uh, uh. we're supposed to like beat it up? I, mean, I guess right, we just face. run some speed. Yeah, I have to wait for him to show his uh, underbelly and his apple. The red things are ammo for your gun. Thank you, VG Shine. It'll take a couple attempts, but I think we'll get it. You're doing great. Really great music. I don't like how it doesn't aim my gun, though. It's shooting my gun, like, so randomly. Yeah. Is there any way to aim his gun? Because it's not hitting the guy. It's kind of annoying.
This would lot, be a lot better if you could actually aim your gun. It shoots off sporadically someplace. Like, I only get one shot when he's up in the air like that, and it's not aiming it straight. It's kind of annoying. Like, I know what I'm supposed to do, it's just it's not doing it. That's all. It's gonna be a long fight. Phase one tank requires four shoots to make it flip, and when the underbelly is exposed, it can receive seven punches. Um, phase two, on the other hand, requires eight punches to defeat the brain. Um, the boss needs a total of 39 hits. Phase two of the, this tank is possibly the hardest uh, battle in the game. Oh, wow. I don't really understand all this stuff. For the second part of the- No, 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 I'm not even on the second yet. Wait. But you flipped him over once on his side. I think you are on the second phase. No, I'm not. I'm not on the second phase. Okay, come on, little Raz. You can do it. Come on, Raz Mataz. The very angry tank. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. You said.
poor Raz is being hunted by this tank and he's just a kid. Why is that tank not lifting up anymore? Oh, I'm gonna try to look it up and see. Um, I think you are in the second thing. Um, okay, so the tank will project crosshairs that move in the same direction where the tank is looking. The crosshairs can be expanded to target at Rasputin. If the crosshairs catch him, it will be changed from white to red with a beeping sound um, and definitely produce more and more. When this happens, Raz must hide behind the pillars before getting shot. Getting shot by a BSI side blast. Nope, this is the second phase, Amber. Oh wow. Let's go, Raz. Oh my gosh. It's got a, you have to fight a brain? Fight a brain, it looks like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's anything about this horse that killed me. It requires eight punches to defeat the brain. Um, and yes, the brain part is possibly the hardest boss fight in the game, it seems. Hmm? Wait, did I die? Is this a nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? Wait a minute! Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official psychonaut business. Wait! So is this! Official psychonaut, eh? You forgot your- Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, that white room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Mari is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Go down to the boathouse. Hmm. Oh, look. If that was one of the hardest... Boss fights in the game, you're doing really well. Wait, that was supposed to be hard? The tank was the annoying part because I couldn't aim. No, it said the brain part was the hardest part according to that person. Huh. I don't think so. It was actually pretty easy. Float over the green stuff and then hit him. Uh -huh. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Okay, this is weird. I'm bursting into flames out here. Um. Why am I bursting into flames? Why are you starting to be set on fire? I don't think I'm supposed to come out of here yet. If I come out of here, I burst into flames. Weird. So... If I'm not supposed to burst in the flames, where do I go? That's really weird. Pyromaniac Tiger says, um, says VG Shine. It's like Tasmanian Tiger, but Pyromaniac Tiger. Right, but I can't, I can't move forward. Um, I guess I'll look it up. They said I need to go to the lake somehow, but as soon as I step foot out of there, I, I burst into flames. Like, how are you supposed to find your way around? 
That's weird. Like as soon as I leave, I turn into fire. Like, I'm safe here, but as soon as I leave this area, I go whoosh. I thought there was a, um, a stump or something for me to travel inside of. Try to go this way, I guess. in the beach. Is this a lake? Uh-oh. Bobby! Uh-oh. Look, I can explain. Jeez, it sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes! Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? <laughs> Get him! I... can't. I can't swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper prints are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to, um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision. And possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to a summer camp before? I'll get a move on before that girl gets overly digested. <laughs> the girl said that's my boyfriend. Wow, he didn't even get a say in it. Meet Lily at the beach. I mean, most men don't. Hmm? Huh? What? Yep. That's what they say, girls. Girls, they pick a guy they want, and then they pretend to let him chase them. <laughs> huh. Mm. Pretend? Yeah, they make the guy think that he's actually pursuing her, but in reality she's pursuing him. That's how women get their man. Really? Yeah, you can, you can, you can verify it, and that's... Kind of thing that I just said is said all over the internet. I thought I pursued you. Yeah, it seems that way, doesn't it? Huh. Oh. Submarine action, here we go. Mm. 
There's got to be some wild animals in the overworld from now on. Welcome to the night phase of the game. Awesome BG shine. LOL, says Anna Sensei. Wait, am I... I thought I was in a submarine just now. How am I under the water? I'm so confused. This game is so confusing. Like, I'm not under the water. Yeah, thank you so much, Anna, for helping us continue this series. And um, it was very kind of you to help us with continuing with your ultimate with us. More than kind. Very extremely generous. Uh, Thank you, Anna. I'm so confused. I, I turned my head away no, for a second to write a time code, and we were in a submarine, and now yeah, he's underwater? I believe so. But he can't go underwater. I, I he has a fear of water. I don't remember, actually. I kind of want, I was trying to share the video as well, so I kind of missed some a second. Okay, cough up the girl and no one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. Well said. <laughs> nice, nice uh, equipping there. Uh, yeah, Ras. Ras. It's gonna be hard to find places to put lumps on you since he's already lumpy. The fish is lumpy. Oh, nope, that doesn't do anything. Uh -huh. The fish boss. Can't wait for my life to on Saturday. Awesome, Isaiah. You can't eat that. Oh no! I think Rats. I died. Um, you're alive? I don't know how that works. Okay. Clams and the lungfish will get caught in them. This is your chance to attack. Pummel him, do this three times, and he's beat. Okay. Clams. Oh, this is a lungfish. Oh, he he's in the shape of a lung. Hide behind the There are weird arms that keep grabbing me. Hide behind the clams and the lungfish will get caught in the lungfish. Hide behind the clams and the lungfish will be caught in the clams. Then you can attack him and come with him. That's, so I just need to find clams. You can also... Smash open the boxes of nails lying around as he sucks them in. Okay. What are those green things that keep grabbing me? I can't avoid one of those green things. Oh, I 
hit him. I hit nails with him. I didn't see him do anything. From GameFAQs 2005, uh, the longish one hail deeply, sucking an optics around. Be careful not to get hit by one of these. Blow up. The opposite of the previous attack, the longish will blow things out towards you. Avoid them. Projectiles, be careful not to step outside the air bubble. If you do, you'll die. The key to victory is the yellow boxes of nails littered around yep, the air bubble. Uh, yep, I'm hitting with Wait the until the longish breathes in and, and breathe. I'm hitting him with nails now. I, that's how I'm hurting him. I'm sending you this. I have a game pack sky from 2000. Thank you. Chasing me now. Right. Um. Okay, you have to do this three times before the long fish will shrink. The air bubble won't chase you. So, you'll see this section through the long fish's eyes. You have to run and jump a course, but to revert to its original attack style. One fish will blow out as well as breathing and make sure you only break the boxes when it breathes in. Okay. But yep. Otherwise, so the I have to. Will blow I just run in. away from the fish until. Yeah, yeah. You will have to run away. So, have to run a course of jumps I'm before he returns back to his original style. Oops. I ran out of the bubble. Yeah, try not to, you'll die if you run out of the air bubble. <laughs> you're doing great, sweetheart. You also are very cute. You're doing fantastic. <laughs> Alright, so now he's gonna come attack me again and I have to wait, he did something else now. He changed the it's okay. I'm still in the being chased by the fish phase. Oh jeez. It's hard to tell where the bubble stops and where he begins. Oh, yeah. It is kind of hard to see where the bubble, the ends of the bubble are. That's for sure. Luke. I guess the stuff that's green is the stuff that I can travel in. The stuff that's blue I can't go into. Oh, yeah, that's possible. That would be my bet. Mm. Yeah, that might be it. So it feels like those little vines are attacking you, too. Honestly, it feels like a symphony orchestra did the music for this or something. I think. Oh, wow. You can hear it. Sounds amazing. Well, I guess they don't make games like this anymore. They do. There are orchestras that still do stuff. Mario Galaxy. Mario Galaxy is 2007, honey. That's a long time ago. Well, I guess they don't make awesome games like that anymore. They still make some pretty cool games, but there's a lot of music, like orchestra stuff in games today. Oh. It's, it's common. It doesn't s it's hardly noticeable. Oh boy. So the lungfish is chasing you. Yep. Very long section. Yep. It's 
kind of cool. It has like a green tint like it's underwater. Oh no. Nope, I might have gone too far. Oh, nope. Okay, next section. Here we go. Wow, this long fish is not happy. It's okay. Just waiting for him to breathe in. I got two nails to send his way. Look, that's, One. that's me. That's Why would you do that for the fish? The fish ate Lily. He didn't mean to eat her. Yeah, I think he did. Why does that thing grab me? It's so weird. He didn't like the taste of that. Now we do the next section of running away. Well, that didn't do anything. So, my bet is you need to, um, whatever's green, you can travel in. Anything that's not green, you can't travel in. So once you understand how the boss mechanic works, it, it's not a difficult fight, it's just a long fight. Rescue Lily, and then I'm gonna. Oh no! Run, 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 run! Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it's saying, run, 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 run. At least that's what the urgency of the violin is telling me. Run, 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 quickly run, 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 run. A little bit of plucking of strings there. Run faster, run faster, run faster, run, run, run fast. Gonna get eaten by the fish. Fish is gonna eat you, so you better run, 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 run. Oh no. Oh, can I actually hit him now? That didn't work. Hey! Alright, now he's in a phase where I can't hit him. Well, oh, I see. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. That's pretty straightforward. Ow. Ow. Oh, totally died there. I got three lives left. All right. Come on, clam man. What? Throws this thing and he gets stuck in the clam. Go get some! Got him! Ah, oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. 
This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry leg bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Mori has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Whoa. Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! Uh... We didn't save Lily yet, so how do I get inside the monster? Um. How the heck do you get inside of it? Hey, BG, you still around? What button do I press to get inside the fish? Or I'm killed by sea creatures. Use the door from your inventory? My inventory? I still don't know how to access my inventory. I don't think that's it. Godzilla. Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer O'Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Ah! Oh, Gagano! Godzilla level. Okay. Hey, Gogalor! Down here! Excuse me. Were you talking to me? Ah, ow, my ears! I'm sorry. Ah, oh my god! Ah. Are you okay? He's dead. 
dead. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the Resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gargalore. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So, hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gargalore. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gargalore. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gargalore! In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the Resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades! Freedom! 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 hoo Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No! I doubt it. Uh, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gargalore? Wait. What navy? Meet us at the dam, Gargalore. For freedom! Okay, Psychic Shield. I love that they have Godzilla music. This is amazing. The peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gargalore. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. How do I use my force field? I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. Equip it from the powers menu?
This is so cool. Freedom! 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 So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gargalore. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action. Hmm. There we go. Beware Gogalore. This is a really creative level. This is kind of cool. What is that? Duffel bag tag. Punch vault to open. What vault? Lungfish, Siege. Is this a Viewmaster? That's interesting. actually trying to avoid buildings and cars easier said than done okay for Gagalore. Recently surfaced information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common low-life criminals. Earlier tonight, Gagalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, they're in for one nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper-electricity. Kidnapping children do not harm the brains. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble, all volunteer navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Goggle. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the Navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof. Do not get caught stealing children. What? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. Ha, now you see the genius of our plan, Gogalore. First we print flyers. Then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Longfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? You don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we are busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within the week. Good lord, he's impervious to bullets and love. Hey, knock it off. We don't have a replacement blimp, you know. Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh, no. That's crazy. All right, got to go again. Um, wow, they don't mess around. Um,
Wait, where was it going again? Head now. I broke them out of prison already, so bullets don't hurt him. up on the... Yeah, I did this stuff already. Whoa. Knock it off! No, I'm good. Alright, so we're in Skyscraper City now. <laughs> Ah. No choice, have to destroy the city. Okay, everyone got Glore missed the orphanage. No, wait. He's still heading. We've faced monsters like you before, Gogalor, only much smaller. <laughs> He's still heading for the orphanage. Oh, uh, what? Well, that didn't work. Ow! Ah! Where the heck am I going? Wasn't I supposed to go over a bridge before? Close to unlocking mine golf. <laughs> I don't think so, VG. Heck 
is that? I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. Astro projection layer, what? shot. Why are you blowing up your own buildings? Another section of the city, huh? <laughs> oh no. We're here with a star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble, Buddy Finn. Buddy, what's your take on the Gogalore situation? Is he just misunderstood? No way! I hate Gogalore! I can't imagine anyone of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything lungfish care about. Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, you'll be happy to know that the Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. Airplanes! So rest assured, we can all look forward to Gogalore's imminent death. And to seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks, and I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take them quickly under the lake to the abandoned insane asylum. Gogolor, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Kochamara Channel to get to Kochamara Island and destroy Kochamara Tower. The thing is that, um, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Gogolor, we, uh... We just think it best to, to uh, uh... We've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gogolor. Yes, that, and for freedom. I need to do what now? How am I supposed to fight airplanes? Uh. No way. I have to King Kong them? Really? Okay, that's kind of cool. Oops. That is really interesting. Hey. Oof. 
No, 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 get off, get off. No, no, no. Didn't say to do that. That didn't do nothing. I think this is my favorite level in the game so far. This is just amazing. It's really fun. As a big Godzilla fan too, it's like I got this goofy grin on my face. It's really interesting. Play golf. All right, so dun 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 dun. dun. Miserable and incompetent lung faced Navy is all but sunk. Great work, losers. Now, Kochamara himself will have to come all the way down here just to save our worthless hides. Authorities are calling for a big parade in Kochamara's honor after he clobbers the annoying giant Gagalor. And if the parade is big enough, Kochamara promises not to destroy the city. Brush teeth more often, don't drool so much. <laughs> hey everyone! Here comes Kochamara! Ultraman! That's a very big Ultraman. Give up while you can, Gagalor. I know it's you in there, Coach. I don't know where you're broadcasting from, but I'm going to find out and make you show me what happened to Lily. Kochamara does not speak giant monster boy language. The only word you're going to need is ouch. Mighty! Deadly Triangle Beam! Mighty Ram! Deadly Triangle Beam! Deadly Triangle Beam! Hmm, so Sasha showed you how to save up your aggressive energy, huh? Well, why don't I help you? Let it all out! <laughs> Mighty round grapple! Overly intense! 
intricate combination! Hard to avoid! Area attack! Overly intricate combination! Hard to avoid! Area attack! Interesting. Deadly triangle beam. Mighty ram. Deadly triangle beam. Mighty ram. Deadly triangle beam. Mighty. Ow. Wait, how do you avoid that after? Mm. Mighty Ram! Deadly Triangle Beam! Now. Deadly triangle beam. Mighty ram. Mighty ram. Deadly triangle beam. Showed you how to save up your aggressive energy, huh? Well, why don't I help you? Let it all out. <laughs> Mighty round crap. Overly intricate combination. Hard to avoid. Area attack. <laughs> Overly intricate combination! Hard to avoid! Area attack! Oh. <sighs> Mighty Ram! Deadly Triangle Beam! Hmm. Get combination Ow. hard to avoid every attack. Ah, ah, ah. People of Monfishopolis, I'm sorry I let you down. Finally! Okay, Tower, get ready for Gogalore. Cool. Now are we going to do a Godzilla tribute more, or what? Uh... Well, that's weird. I was overthinking it. The Ultraman stuff was pretty awesome. He even moved like Ultraman for a giant fish. That's pretty funny. Control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nab children for me anymore. 
I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl? <laughs> I said, in my lab. I think you've got the muscles of a little girl, too. <laughs> Good one. to my friend Lily. By the drowned spirit of Oblongata, it is done. <laughs> when it is your wish to travel across the lake, you may return to either shore and summon me with that. Thanks, hulking lungfish. You know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. What a magical lady. Probably not gonna save Lily in this episode. Hey, I... Oops. Huh? Who are you working for? What? Uh, I'm with the Psychonauts. The who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Oh, okay, okay, but no, no, wait. I mean, the military-industrial complex. Um. Who are merely the pawns of all those stupid crows. Ha. Who do you work for? I'm the guard. I've been fully trained. Uh, you gotta let me in. My friend's in there. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. I'm the guard. With the backing of the pelicans <laughs> and that guy with the eye patch uh, are telling my location to the cows. Okay. All right, so I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, thank you, Anna Sensei, so much for sponsoring this. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We got to see some Godzilla stuff, which was pretty awesome. And uh, next time, if you do another episode, we'll be outside the gates of the asylum. So, I don't know if Anna's still awake or not, but thank you guys and gals so much for watching. You'll be redirected to Ace Attorney. Um, your streams tomorrow are Ace Attorney... Um, Final Fantasy, and of course, um, more Star Wars. Have a great night, guys and gals. God bless. Happy gaming. Take care. And I will see you uh, in the morning. You've got a short at 8 a.m. You have a short that went up now. So check out the uh, short if you missed it. Oops. That's not the short. Uh -huh. That's the short. That's a short. All right, guys. Have a great night. Thank you, Anna Sensei, wherever you are. Night, everybody.